Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. And in today's video, we're gonna be installing the Sons of Liberty Gunworks M89 handguard. So the handguard itself comes in a few different lengths, but this is the install process for all of those. So let's go over what you're gonna need first. Uh, as far as tools go, I'm gonna be using a torque wrench to torque the barrel nut down. And then I have a hex wrench here for the screws that come with it on the side there. We'll get to those in a moment. And then I'm also gonna be using another torque wrench. Uh, this is an optional step, but a recommended step uh, to torque down those same screws. So let's talk about what comes with the actual kit. Of course, you have your handguard. Then you have your hardware to attach it to the barrel nut. Then there's a barrel nut. And then there's also this pin, which I'll get to in just a moment. So as far as the hardware that comes to attach it to the barrel nut, uh, you're gonna have these three threaded pieces here. And notice how they have angles cut on them, uh, which I'll cover when we get to that step, don't worry. And then you have these cups here, which is what the head of your screws will sit into. And again, I'll, I'll get to it. All right, so uh, the tool that comes with it is going to be your barrel nut wrench. So. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you have your upper receiver, whichever favorite upper receiver you want. Uh, and then you have your barrel. And of course, I'll pull it out so you guys can see here. Uh, barrel just goes into the upper receiver. I use a little bit of Brownells Action Loop Plus grease on the actual uh, extension itself, just a little bit. Push that in. Also use the same grease on the barrel nut threads, which are already on there, so I won't worry about that. And with all that lightly lubricated, we can go ahead and take our barrel nut. So you'll notice one end of your barrel nut has these uh, teeth cut in it for the barrel nut wrench. And the other end is threaded. We're just gonna go ahead and slide that threaded in over our barrel. And I'll just secure that by hand. All right, and once you have that tightened down all the way, I'm getting there, I promise. All right, so we can go ahead and take said barrel nut wrench onto our torque wrench. And we'll put this at a 90 degree angle here. Then we will set this so usually on non-indexing barrel nuts, I set them right around 40 foot pounds and that works for just about all of them. So I'll set this one to 40 foot pounds as well. All right, we're good to go. And the wrench itself, I don't know if yours is like this one, uh, but it's a pretty tight fit into the actual barrel nut, which is a good thing. All right. And now we'll just torque it down until we hear that click. There it is. So that's 40 foot pounds. If you want, you can loosen it and tighten it again a few times just to marry up those threads. Um, but we're using high quality parts here, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. All right. So now at this point, you would go ahead and install your gas block and gas tube. I'm not gonna do that here. Just use whichever one's your favorite. If you don't know how to do that, check out some of the other videos we have on it. All right, so once you have your barrel nut on and your gas block and gas tube, you can take your handguard and slide it onto the receiver. All right. So with that in place, we can go ahead and start installing the hardware. But before I do that, I wanna cover this pin that comes with your kit. You may be looking at this pin saying, what the heck does that go to? All right, if you notice, the top of this handguard has a hole drilled in it. And this pin is a very tight fit into that hole. So if you have the correct upper receiver, so the Sons of Liberty Gunworks upper receiver, it'll also have a hole drilled in it so that you get just an extra step in your anti-rotation parts here. So if you did have that, you would go ahead and set the pin, then press the handguard on. And this pin would act as a bridge between the two. 
So if you don't have a Sons of Liberty Gunworks upper receiver that's already drilled, don't worry about it. Just don't use the pin. You already have some pretty robust anti-rotation tabs on here. So it's not gonna be an issue. If you did have the correct upper receiver, it would look just like this one, except I'll show you guys here. On the front there, you have your hole that's drilled for your gas tube. Above that would be another hole that's drilled for that pin. Like I said, this is not that receiver, so we're not gonna worry about it. Um, and it's, it's almost depressing I have to say this, guys, but if you wanna convert your non-drilled receiver to a drilled receiver, use a milling machine or take it to a gunsmith that knows how to use said milling machine. Don't try and do it on your drill press. And you know who I'm talking to when, you, when I say this. Don't try to use a hand drill because I'm gonna find the picture on Reddit, I'm gonna repost it, and we're all gonna make fun of you. So do it correctly or just don't do it at all. Okay, where were we? All right, we had the hand guard installed. All right, now we can start installing the hardware. So this part here, I mentioned before these pieces have angles cut on them. Uh, that's because they are actually gonna interface with the angles that are cut on that barrel nut and they're gonna pull everything together really tight. That's why this is arguably one of the most robust handguards in existence. Not only does it just tighten the actual handguard to the barrel nut, but it actually pulls the handguard into the receiver even tighter. So super robust setup there, and this is why it is so. All right, so if you look at these pieces I mentioned here, they have an angle cut on one side, and then they have a flat cut all the way across one side. All these pieces have that. And if you notice in your handguard, you have three holes on each side. Two are shallow and one is deep on this side, on the other side. Two are deep and one is shallow. All right, so since we're starting with this side, these angled pieces here are always gonna go into the deep holes, all right? So what we're gonna do is take the flat and line it up with the flat on the hole. And then we're gonna take that angled piece there, you can see it there, that's gonna go in the hole. So just like that. This is like that, uh, those games you played when you were a baby where you gotta put like the uh, square block in the square hole and stuff like that. Same concept here. So you should be able to figure it out. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, except we have two. All right, so I'm gonna match up, match up my pieces here. This is gonna go just like so. And matching up the flats, there we go. All right, so it should look just like this. And you shouldn't be able to see any of the uh, sloped angles if you put them in correctly. So you should look just like that. All right, so now on the shallow holes, we're gonna take these cup pieces with the dished portions facing outward and just stick that into the hole there. Go straight in. These don't have to go in a certain way, they just go straight in there. Then we'll take one of the bolts, set it on there, and we'll just tighten that down so it doesn't fall out. Then we'll do the same thing with the other side here. There's one, there's two, bolt in, tighten down. And I'm not putting any torque on them right now, I'm just tightening them down so they stop. All right, so at this point here, and I'll just set this up real quick here so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so now I'm gonna be torquing down in inch pounds, not foot pounds like we were with this one here. All right, so on each one of these, Anywhere between 25 to 30 inch pounds will be plenty. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just 
torque these screws. And I'm gonna do the side with the two bolts first. We're gonna tighten it down. All right, there's one. Then I'm gonna jump to the front. Tighten it down. There's two. And then I'm gonna go to the middle one on the opposite side here. And there's three. And I'm just gonna repeat that process one more time. So back, front, and middle. And that's all there is to it. The Sons of Liberty Gunworks M89 handguard is now correctly installed. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.